Pete was in the high altitude tower, when suddenly a mysterious energy wave hit him. The tower on Pitt's side also exploded, and spread over. Pete, walked to the middle of the horizontal bar, and jumped to the next level of horizontal bar. Pete cut the fuse. Pete looked up, and the blast wave, shook Pete off the tower. Faced with this sudden situation, most people would already have shortness of breath, but Pete was very calm. I was just too thin to stabilize, trying to keep the tumble down, so I don't black out. Pitt's call, to the headquarters also received no response. Pete continued to fall. Pete adjusted his posture. Pete began to fall rapidly, opening the parachute. Debris from the tower explosion pierced Pitt's parachute. The speed that causes the parachute to descend is very fast. Pete had just returned to the surface intact. Space executive Stanford summoned Pete and asked Pete if he knew about the Lima plan. In fact, the Lima project has been carried out until the 16th year. The Lima spacecraft mysteriously lost contact. The energy wave that hit this time was the same as the energy source of the Lima spacecraft, so they suspected that Pitt's father was not dead and transformed the antimatter into a weapon to attack the Earth. If not effectively controlled, energy waves will destabilize the solar system. Pete became the prime candidate to save the solar system. Pete immediately flew to the moon on a commercial rocket and then took a lunar rover to a military base. Pirates attacked their convoy, and the lunar rover behind it was blown up. Immediately afterwards, another lunar rover was damaged, and the only remaining lunar rover was also surrounded by pirates. The rover driven by one of the pirates rushed towards Pete, the driver slammed on the brakes to avoid it, and the pirate hit the solar panel. Another pirate car rams toward them. Pete was lucky enough to escape. They also dodged missile attacks. Pete finally came to the military base. Pete and the team members took the Cephoy spacecraft and rushed to the transit station Mars base. When they were about to land on Mars, an energy wave hit. The landing system of the spacecraft was destroyed and the landing angle deviated from the course. Pete switched to manual operation and after careful fine tuning, he finally landed safely on the Mars base. Pete then sent a voice message to his father, Clifford, and got a reply from Clifford. Based on this information, the military locked down Clifford's location. So they are going to send someone to destroy the Lima spacecraft. Pete was arranged to return to Earth. Pete failed to see his father, so he asked Vogel, the manager of the base, to help. Vogel promised to help him and told Pete the truth. It turned out that Pete's father had led the crew to the edge of the solar system, but no alien life was found along the way. The crew wanted to return to Earth, but Clifford firmly disagreed and brutally killed the returning crew, and Vogel's parents were Clifford's crew. Pete wanted to know about this, so he went to Neptune alone to find Clifford. After an 80-day voyage, Pete finally reached Neptune. Pete flew a transport module around Neptune's satellite belt, heading towards Lima. Suddenly, Lima fired another energy wave. Pete's transport compartment was destroyed, so he had to abandon the transport compartment and open the hatch from the outside to enter the Lima. The bodies of the crew were floating in the cabin, but Clifford's body was not seen. Pete came to the nuclear reactor to set up the nuclear bomb. After 30 years, the two father and son finally met again. Clifford wants to persuade Pete to cooperate and continue to search for alien life. You and I together, Roy, because the Lima Project has told us we're all alone in the known universe. But Pete just wanted to bring his father home. Clifford thinks that Pete doesn't understand him. Clifford didn't choose to follow Pete back to Earth, but exiled himself. Pete flew over to rescue his father. Clifford had made up his mind, and Pete had no choice but to let him be selfish for a while. After Pete returned to the Lima, he removed an iron plate on the radar. Pete jumped on the spaceship coming, using the iron plate to block the gravel. After Pete passed the satellite smoothly, Pete started the thrusters and rushed back to the spaceship. Then borrow the shock wave from the explosion of the Lima as a booster. Pete set sail to return to Earth. During the long and lonely journey, Pete deeply realized that he owed his wife and family and finally let go of his views and ideas about his father and returned to his normal life.